Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Barcelona eyeing bargain move for 24-year-old Man United outcast. Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho has been linked with a move to Barcelona this summer. According to a report from a Spanish publication Sport, the 24-year-old winger has been offered to the Spanish club, but Barcelona have no intentions of paying a substantial amount of money to sign him. They would be interested in loaning the player instead. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United are willing to send the player out on loan once again. The winger was on loan at his former club Borussia Dortmund during the second half of last season and he was outstanding for them. Sancho played a key role in the run to the UEFA Champions League final. There is no doubt that he could be a quality player for Barcelona and it remains to be seen whether the Spanish outfit can secure an agreement with the Red Devils. Manchester United paid £73 million to sign the player and they will look to recoup around £51 million for him as per sport. Barcelona need more quality and depth in the final third and the 24-year-old is capable of operating on both flanks. He will add goals, creativity and technical ability to the side. The opportunity to play for a club like Barcelona could be an attractive proposition for the England international. However, he will probably want to sort out his future permanently and leave Manchester United for good. It remains to be seen how the situation develops. There have been rumours of a potential move back to Dortmund permanently and it remains to be seen where he ends up eventually. Sancho has fallen out of favour with Eric Ten Hag and staying at Manchester United will not be an option for him. The England international needs to move on this summer. Gary Neville, certain Man United man, will start for England in Euro 2024 last 16. Gary Neville has backed both Kobe Maino and Adam Wharton to step into England's midfield for their Euro 2024 round of 16 fixture. The three Lions will play their first knockout round on Sunday after topping Group C with their most likely opponent, the Netherlands, although they won't find out for sure until Wednesday. But that's in spite of some terrible performances in the group stage, only managing a 1-0 win over Serbia in their opening match before playing out 1-1 and 0 draws against Denmark and Slovenia respectively. One of the key problem areas for Gareth Southgate has been in midfield, with Alexander-Arnold starting alongside Declan Rice in the first two matches, but substituted in both. Conor Gallagher started ahead of Arnold in the goalless stalemate with Slovenia but lasted just 45 minutes, replaced at half-time by Man United talent Kobe Maino. England certainly looked improved following the introduction of Maino, who completed 33 of his 34 attempted passes, including three into the final third, while he had two touches in the opposition box and made four recoveries. Former Man United captain Neville who is working as a pundit at the tournament for ITV, believes Maino has done enough to earn a start on Sunday, while also backing Crystal Palace midfielder Adam Wharton to improve the three Lions, despite not seeing a minute on the pitch at the tournament yet. He said the following via BBC Sport, I am certain that Kobe Maino will start in the next game. He thought that Conor Gallagher might be an option because of his energy, but we need someone in there that can get us playing, and Maino does that. Adam Wharton could do that too. We looked so basic in the first half, it was a struggle to watch, but it moved forward a lot in the second half, even though we didn't get the result, but there were glimpses of what we can be. Man United have made direct contact with PSG for Manuel Ugarte. Manchester United have made direct contact with Paris Saint-Germain regarding midfielder Manuel Ugarte, according to reputed journalist Fabrizio Romano. The Red Devils are likely to reinforce their midfield department this summer, with the likes of Casimiro and Christian Eriksen linked with potential summer exit. Sofiano Rabat could also head for the exit door after his loan spell concludes on June 30. 
In an update on his YouTube channel, Romano has now revealed that there was direct contact between United and PSG over a possible transfer deal for Ugarte. However, there was no official bid on the table. United also discussed other PSG players, and the two clubs have a very good working relationship between them. Ogarty was on United's radar during last summer's transfer window, but they did not make an approach. Ogarty finished the campaign as an unused substitute on 14 occasions. The Uruguayan would surely want regular minutes during the prime of his career, and this could urge him to pursue a new challenge. In our view, he would be an ideal signing to replace Casimero in the number 6 role. Ugarte won an impressive 3.9 tackles and 6.3 duels per game last term, alongside 7.2 ball recoveries. He lost possession on 7.4 occasions per outing, which is not bad for a holding midfielder. In comparison, Casimero was guilty of losing possession more than 12 times on average. The former sporting Lajbun man is also better with the ball at his feet. He had a passing accuracy of 91% and would provide United with more control in the center of the park. Ogarte currently has a transfer market value of £38 million, but PSG could hold out for much more. They paid £51 million to sign him from sporting and could demand the same figure. Man United have a Jonathan David on their shortlist. Manchester United have identified Jonathan David as one of their potential striker targets for the summer transfer window, according to Florian Plattenberg. The Red Devils are expected to sign a new centre forward, with Anthony Martial due to leave the club when his contract expires at the end of the month. Bologna's Joshua Zergzi is one of their prime targets to fill the void, but Plattenberg reports that the Red Devils also have David on their summer shortlist. The Canadian has been fancied to leave Lille with his contract expiring next summer. The 24-year-old is currently valued in the region of 17 to 21 million pound. The Red Devils are prepared to pay the 34 million pound release clause in Zergzi's contract, and they have also reached an agreement with his agent over the commission. Despite this, a deal is far from straightforward. The Dutchman apparently has the desire to continue in Serie A and he may need to be convinced to move to England. Suppose a transfer does not materialize, the Red Devils should consider a move for David, who has been on the radar of Premier League clubs for some period of time. Hefty price tag for ex Leicester winger now, wanted by Liverpool, Chelsea and Mon United. Lukman would cost any Premier League club wanting to sign him from Atalanta this summer, £51 million according to reports. The former Everton, Fulham and Leicester City man, who scored 6 goals in 26 Premier League appearances on loan at the latter in 21-22, has enjoyed a career renaissance with Italian side Atalanta. Lukman joined the Bergamo outfit at the start of the 22-23 campaign and has made 78 appearances for the club across all competitions, notching 32 goals and 18 assists while lifting the 23-24 Europa League title. According to Italian outlet Calcio Mercato, that form has attracted the attention of Premier League giants Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester United, who are all weighing up offers this summer. Calcio Mercato report states that Atalanta have set a price tag of 60 million euros for Lukman this summer. Also, it's understood the three interested parties from England are willing to meet that demand. Lukman's current transfer market value stands at 40 million euros, rapidly increasing in two and a half years from 9 million euros during his spell on loan at Leicester. Should Atalanta back their desired fee for Lukman, who has 23 senior caps to his name for Nigeria, scoring 6 goals, it would represent a healthy profit on 15 million euros. They reportedly paid Leipzig for the winger back in 2022. Man United identify a player they want to sell in order to sign a 12-goal ace. Manchester United are now looking to sell Mason Greenwood this summer so that they can bring in Joshua Zergzi from Bologna. The 23-year-old Dutch attacker has had an impressive campaign in Serie A, scoring 12 goals and picking up 7 assists in all competitions. He has the attributes to develop into a complete forward, and Manchester United 
would do well to secure his signature. According to I News, Manchester United are looking to raise a substantial amount of money from the departure of Greenwood so that they can get a deal for Zirgzi across the line. It will be interesting to see if they succeed in their endeavors in the coming weeks. The Dutchman would be a quality acquisition for Manchester United and he could share the goal-scoring burden with Rasmus Hoyland next season. The Denmark international needs more support in the attack and the arrival of the 23-year-old would be ideal. Zirgzi is more than just a goal scorer and he will help out creatively as well. He is versatile enough to drift into the wide areas and he could be the dynamic Manchester United are currently looking for. A move to the Premier League will be quite exciting for the young attacker and he will look to fulfill his potential with regular football at Old Trafford. Manchester United managed to win the FA Cup last season and they will look to compete for the trophies next year as well. They will be the separate to return to the Champions League as well. Zergzi will certainly help them improve going forward and his presence will allow the likes of Hoyland and Marcus Rashford to operate without too much pressure as well. Man United eyeing bargain move for a 29-year-old Arsenal-linked midfielder. Manchester United are keen on signing the French international midfielder Adrien Rabio this summer. The 29-year-old central midfielder has been linked with a move to the Premier League and the clubs like Arsenal and Aston Villa are keen on him as well. According to a report from Team Talk, Manchester United are pushing to sign the 29-year-old on a free transfer and it remains to be seen whether they can secure an agreement with the player and his agent. The midfielder has been offered a three-year contract by Juventus, but Rabio and his representatives are not satisfied with the offer. It will be interesting to see if he is ready for a new challenge at this stage of his career. A move to Manchester United could be ideal for him. The Red Devils need more creativity and control in the middle of the park and the 29-year-old would be the ideal acquisition. Signing a player of his quality and experience on a free transfer would be an impressive bit of business from the Red Devils. Manchester United need to improve other areas of their squad as well and signing Rabiot on a bargain will certainly help them get the other signings across the line. Meanwhile, Arsenal could use more depth in the midfield as well. They need to bring in an alternative to Thomas Party this summer and Rabiot would be a quality acquisition. He could form a quality partnership with Declan Rice at the heart of the Arsenal midfield. Both English clubs would represent an exciting move for the player and it remains to be seen what he decides. I will be uploading daily Man United news so keep your eyes on the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.